Visions of Science has been making STEM accessible for underrepresented youth in the GTA for many years, truly redefining what access to STEM-based programs could be, expanding our outlook on what STEM is and what can be done within STEM. They're truly fostering the scientists, doctors, engineers, mathematicians, and academics of the future. The whole philosophy of Visions of Science is providing the opportunity that youth deserve. We have sacrificed quite a bit to be here to make sure that the opportunities that we want our youth to have can actually be realized. So to see that that's actually made a difference and to hear it in her own words, it gives you a different type of vim and energy to go out and continue to do this work. I never really had a program in which I could do something with this passion that I had, with being more hands-on with what I was really interested in and learning more in the process. Especially when it comes to people of color, we're often not really included in the research of these fields and a lot of mm. research and treatments and diagnoses are done on whiter skin. So because of that, you have this whole entire demographic of people who are left out within this niche. So I want to be the voice of those people. That's why I really want to go into the field of dermatology so that I can show people that you know, this field is not a commodity. Your skin is very important and you need to take care of it, of course. I really want to become a doctor and through close mentoring with two Visions of Sciences staff, I got to plan the path that I would take to become a doctor. The opportunities that Visions has connected its participants to have helped marginalized youth actualize a career in STEM. Well, and I can even just hear in your voice the passion that you have behind it, and it's opening so many doors and the possibilities. What does Visions of Science need, or what can they benefit from? Now that we're returning back to a sense of normalcy, I guess, definitely like an outdoor speaker or something like that, so we could have all these events outdoors. We used to have a lot pre-pandemic, where we would kind of go to like all these outdoor events within the community. Okay, so I think we've got some good stuff here. So do you think we should just get going? Let's go, totally. Yeah, we got everything, nice. let's do it. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Today I am representing LG and the Toronto Raptors and we wanted to recognize Vision of Science for everything that you guys do within the community. With support from the Toronto Raptors and LG, Visions of Science will be receiving a new refrigerator for the office and an outdoor entertainment system, which I know will be an amazing addition for our summer programming. Thank you. So Sarah, should I tell them the other surprise? Totally, go ahead. Okay. So on behalf of LG and the Toronto Raptors, we would like to give you with a Raptors in-game experience. I'd also like to make a monetary donation to help you guys in your mission in really creating the next generation of leaders. So thank you all. What I love about seeing just women step in, step up, is this courage and understanding and just like knowing who you are, the place and the space that you deserve to take up. A lot of people look at me, they're like, you're a scientist? I'm like, yeah, I'm a scientist. And I want people to look at Sarah and say, yes, you know, there's a dermatologist from Regent Park. And, and I think as women, it's really important to be able to see yourself represented and to know that you can do anything. It's incredible because it makes that dream possible.